Hello everyone. So it is the Sunday after the London Card Show. I went yesterday and I'm just doing a quick video to show everything that I've picked up. Uh, some has been on Instagram already, but some I just don't have the accounts for. So first of all, I went to Lonic Collects. We had a big deal for some sealed set up. He took all of my sealed items apart from four good items and all the Eevee stuff that I've acquired. He literally cleared me out of the rest. Deal was cash plus uh, a £50 card on top. I ended up getting three cards, came to 56 and he said, you know what mate, it's fine. Call it quits, that's all right. So in my last video showing what I was taking, I think I mentioned, dug out about 16, 17 Gengars. I was like, Christ, Gengar's too cool to sell. I ain't selling none of these. Well, he's not a cheap Pokemon to collect, and as you're going to see in this video, that's escalated into being quite a big collection, uh, probably only second towards my Eevee collection now. So, from Lonic, I grabbed the Gengar Trainer Gallery, which I've heard someone say, because of the blade, and because of, it looks like, could be mistaked for Gengar's Dong, it might one day be a controversial card, so whether that's true or not, I don't know. I got the ugliest EV card ever. My kid has this. She has an EV collection, I have an EV collection. And we try not to get like, duplicates of the same card. But I think Bad Breath EV with the Kebab EV that I got last time is just a good little pair to have, so I had to pick that up. And then we have the Black Star promo, Mega Gengar the Shiny. I thought it looked like it was surrounded by jelly beans. But, so yeah, I know he's not going to see this video, but Lonic, his table was incredible. I've actually got a couple of videos of, he had my dream card that requires a gold star and stuff. Honestly, he, he always has my favourite table at these shows. And if, God, if I can get a job at decent hours, every show I should spend all my money at his table. I'm absolutely certain of it. This is a funny one. Uh, I'm sure you won't mind me saying, but El Toro is a vintage football card collector, pre-war, all the old Spanish players. He's been wanting to dabble possibly into a bit of Pokemon just because it brings more people to his table. If people walk past, they don't really know what vintage is. They've got no interest in buying a card from 1935. If their kid stops and sees a Pokemon card, then suddenly the dad might be like, oh Christ. I remember that player. It might bring trade to his table. So he's been dabbling a little bit. I gave him some Lucario cards. He said, well, he was a kid and played the games. That was his main Pokemon. So I think I gave him 12 or 13 Lucarios. What I didn't expect is he brought this card a few weeks back. And it's one of my all-time favourite cards. Like, I've always wanted this card. I'm just going to look at the texture on that. And he gave it to me. Look at the circle around it crazy so i appreciate that i didn't expect anything in return and to get that he knows it's going nowhere so cheers for that mate popped over to kado uh i always go over to kado i think i got to them at 3 15 i was so late doing trades and everything i was meant to take them some cards but i actually left the house without shoes on i had to go back and put some shoes on and then I was meant to take them a bundle of cards and I left them on the bedside table. But they had a little bargain box, pound a card. And as usual, Adam, I said, oh, I'll just take them too, please. He went, just take them, just have them. And I think the last two shows, I've got a Relicamp card off of them. So this is three in a row. And obviously the Eevee collection with the kid. So that was free. Appreciate them as always. Uh, next, obviously my main collection, my favourite is Kabuto. I got the Legend Maker, I guess it's the reverse because it's got a stamp on. But this was £10. Look at that, your swirl placement. This was from the sub-centre. It looks mad clean. I feel like because they're the sub-centre, if it was going to be a 10 they'd have sent it off to, even if it was a £50 card and a 10 so I'm kind of, I don't really know how their selling works, but I saw that and I was like, no one else got a bike boot except me, are they? So, lovely jubbly. Then, the Spoilt Generation. 
kids zone get a free pack, I think. And one kid, obviously, didn't get a big hit. Copped and left his cards on the table. And there was someone working staff. And I went, what's these cards doing here? And they went, oh, kid didn't want them. Just left them there. Well, sorry. Taking candy from a baby? Well, no. Pompey Blue, he takes Pokemon cards from a kid. I took a Sylveon. on. Fuck it. There was a dude in Trade Corner who came from the Netherlands. He flew in for the show. He had a £30,000 9 karat gold, or 18 karat gold, whatever it was, the gold Pikachu card that released in Japan a few years back. I said, I'll collect mouse hold now. It was a silly little new one that I started. Got that off him for a fiver. Uh, KB Pokemon. Uh, he does all of YouTube POV videos. What? has killed me is he's popularised with Viv the XY black and white full art cards so everyone's now buying them and they're going up in value but oh, I've got many Japanese slabs that are that era because they're my favourite but I wanted to get this for the Eevee collection I showed him a Pop 1 Korean Deoxys as well I thought he might appreciate that but look at that these cards Everyone now, you get a full art in your pack and it's like a three to five pound card and no one wants it. If they put the texture back to being this good, I swear to God I'd be buying them all up and just holding them ten years because I think they're so underrated. But the texture's just not as good. The next one, this is my first, uh, first series card that I've ever had. I finally met Kabuto Cards. And as you'll know, I like Kabuto, his logo is a like samurai helmet with two kabutos on to this day i'm like he's got the best logo in the game he took all of my vending series card not all of them all the ones i was getting rid of we ended up calling it a three pound card i said will you do this i don't think it gave me 50 or 55 but this was 20 a plus the cash so that's a little bit of spending money for the day i'm gonna chuck in this now speaking of spending money i took a box topper uh, for Alligator, I spent it, bought it for £20 at the sh first show I went to last August. Had has offered me £60 trade. I also took a Heart Gold Soul Silver pack because all my steel was pretty much gone. I had an £80 cash offer from Kabuto Cards, but Had has said I'll give you 100 He also took all of my essentially junk slabs. I've had them. I've enjoyed them, but they're not selling, so I cashed out cheaper. And he took, I think it was four Evolution slabs. Evolutions, they're expensive to collect, and if you do it in slabs, it's just too expensive. So I got rid of the slabs, traded into this, which I know is an Evolution slab, but this is one of my chase cards. Contrary to most people, my favourite card in EV Heroes, Evolution wise. Is the Sylveon, which I pulled in my only box, and this is my second favourite. I've always been a fan of Maril, Azumarill, obviously you've got the little Eevee. Feebas is a legendary little fish Pokemon. The Pikachu there. So, super happy with it. All I will say is, you see a 10 in a cabinet, you're doing a trade, you don't really think much of it. The centering is fucking dire. PSA, I know people like moan about PSA, but that is fucking terrible. And then, oh, it's probably not going to focus. There's like four white squares down the border. And I get it, they've probably put out for it as a printing defect. But I could never sell this card, because if someone ever comes back to me and they're like, oh, you sent me a card with bad centering and bad white on. i am like, fuck you, man, it's a fucking 10. Don't blame me, blame PSA. So I'll, I'll keep it anyway. But just irritating. This... Um, the Alakazam, it's not the greatest condition, but like I said in my trade video, um, I'm sick of grading. Prime example, the Glacier on that. I'm sick of grading. I have You look at all the slabs and you're like, oh, that's a nice slab, 500 quid. And then you find a minty version of the same card for like 80. And yeah, it's not going to be a 10, it's probably a 9. But do you want to spend 500 pounds on one card or buy that card for 80 and a 420 pound left over? So I'm converting to a... Um, Top load of binder with all my favourite cards. But look at the texture there. Even on an English card. You see all the crisscross in the background and everything. This has always been a favourite. 
Uh, yes, it's Alakazam. There's a Lugia. There's an Umbreon. So this will go in the Umbreon section of my Evolution Binder. Silver is a bit gutting, but this was Trade of Prometheus. Obviously, he took my Wall Blaze box many moons ago, and I got the two Poncho Eevees off him. I always like to visit him. He's enough one who's always got good stuff that I like. I will upgrade this at some point. I think I've got this for 45 trade. The trade stuff to me, like, it was just my junk. He took one of the only cards I didn't want to get rid of. I had it priced at 50, and he went, is that high? I was like, yeah, it's probably only worth 25, but I like the shiny melodic. He's like, I'll take it if you want to come down to the 25. So I did. At the end of the day, I don't collect melodic. I do collect Umbreon. It's a gold card, and it has Lugia. I mean, I was happy to do that, but I will upgrade that at some point. And then, what is your favourite Pokemon spin-off game? I bet many of you just said Pokemon Snap, and I bet the rest of you have said Pokemon Dungeon or Pokemon Stadium. The correct answer is Pokemon Conquest, and that's Nobunaga. I think in Japan it was called Nobunaga's Ambition or something. This is the shiny Rayquaza from the Pokemon uh, Conquest game. Honestly, the game is great. I think for a second-hand copy now, you're probably paying 125 quid. I'm so gutted that I got rid of mine. But another thing, 44 is my number. Boom. More trade out of the binder. So again, the binder is... I always say to people, like, oh, do you want to look for my binder? It's full of junk. And they're like, oh, not really. I like, my junk might be your treasure. And obviously, all this has come from... Apart from, I've got 90 off Hadders, 50 off... Kabuto and I took 40, so what's that? 90, 140, 180. All this is trades and 140 cash. Like, no, 180 cash. So you see, I've done really well for my trade binder. This isn't in great condition. There's a crease there. But in a binder like that, it looks quite good. I think a minty version of this is. I wouldn't even know. It's probably 50 quid, 100 quid because it's fucking Umbreon. But I quite like that. All of my plasma cards that I had went missing. All of my black and white stuff went missing with the legendary collection that I had. So I had the legendary collection Mew and the Reshiram, the Emolga. They're the only cards since 1999 that I have ever lost. And to this day, it annoys me. So I've got that back. Don't know who these people were, but I got that and both of those from them. I said, I picked up for the three cards. It's like, I'm already at 25 quid. And I'm like, oh, do you do trades? And he went, oh, no, she don't do it, mate. I was like, right, in that case, I probably could have gave you 100, 200 quid worth of cards because I had quite a lot of the stuff that I like, and I had it in my binder. So I probably could have gave him quite a lot of new stock. But if you don't do trades, I ain't going to stay at your table, pretty much. I met a bloke in Trade Corner with his son. His son brought a couple of cards off me. Nice kid. I gave him a couple of freebies as well. He was a Magikarp collector. And he took, I think, two Magikarps off me. And I said, I think I need these. I haven't actually checked yet. That was the deal. But my trade binder, I had the stickers cards that have got like six poke, five, six Pokemon on. He said, oh, I wish I had a Magikarp, one of these. I've never seen these before. And I said, I think it's on the Vaporeon, so it's in my Eevee collection. He went, I'm gutted, I'd love that. I literally got home, I don't know, I didn't see it. Show. The Magikarp on there is probably the size of that eyeball. It's such a small sticker of Magikarp. It's in the binder. I've got it priced at 20 quid, but because I like, I collect, obviously, the Mouse Hole, Tandem Mouse, Relicamp, Kabuto, now Gengar. I, like, I hate people, oh, I collect Pokemon. Oh, what do you collect? Charizard and Pikachu. Oh, come on, you're just in it for the money, isn't you? When you meet someone who genuinely collects something else, I would have just gave him that card, and he had, like, a one-of-one one Ben Tanker from Spurs and that. If anyone knows the Ben Tanker collector who collects Magikarp, send me his details. Like, I, I would just send him that card in the post, because he was just a good dude. Like, wish I got his details. This next pile of cards are I feel really bad. It's Trader Prometheus's mate. They're always next to each other at the shows. Um, I got a little Eevee Lucian bath bomb for my kid off him. And then he looked through my binder and took... No, it wasn't my binder. He took the Vaporeon playing card and the Kangaskhan XY Full Art. 
Viv had just undercut me at 125 quid on eBay. So he did a 90 like percentage trade deal, gave me 90. So I got 105. I think this was 118. So I added a two I added that two pound card to make it 120 and I paid 15 pounds difference. But I got the speaking of the Magic Arp, man, I got the Magic Arp Japanese version, because why would you pay the English price? And there's the Gyarados. I got the Chinese. Sylveon and Gardevoir. Now this, in the shop in Southampton, they had it at £40, but there was a massive crease down here. I think they just didn't spot it. But if it's £40 in English raw, in Japanese raw, wouldn't even be surprised if it was a bit more, but say it was still the same price, 40 quid. You can get it in Chinese for £8. Language don't matter to me, I just want the artwork for the collection. Got one of my favourite alt arts. In fact, I got an alt art, and I love the full arts, as you know, from X, Y, Black, and White. So to get rid of the Kangas Calm, I had to get equivalent back, if you were. So I got an alt art from the Sword and Shield era, the Machamp. It's so underrated. And then, look at this. Look at the glitter. Look at the, like, it's almost like a thumbprint texture. Look at the plasma lope. Look at that. Oh, shit. The more you... Look at that shine there. Did you see that? Oh, holy crap. It's not completely minty, but you put that in a binder, and I'm sorry. Everyone's like, oh, how much is that? How much is that? How much is that? I couldn't believe... This was 30 quid. I'd have paid 50, and I don't even care. It is so good. The box that it comes in is rare. It's like a £1,000 box now. Oh, my God. The more you look at it, the better it gets. Madness. And look, as I added this £2 card, I've got the reverse of this, the Charizard of the Pikachu. Oh, I've now got the Pikachu with the Charizard, and the one this year, I know it's not the same, but it's pretty much the same. You've got the Pokemon Center promo of the Pikachu and the little Mew up there this time, so I'm sure next year it'll be the Mew here with the little Pikachu over there. So that was pretty cool. Um, and then this is the last deal of the day. Oh, I've been following a bloke called Gengar Car. Nine, I think his name is. It's definitely Gengar car. But he's got... His binders are f just look amazing. On every video that I see him, Viv's videos, KB's videos, Bav's videos, I always look and think, God, his binders look good. But when I'm looking for his stuff, he's got the weird stuff. You know, the little... I can't remember what they're called. I've got the little Kabuto card. I can't remember what it's called, but he's got the, he had the full set of them. All of my sticker cards, he's got them... He's got big jumbos that I've got. I was like, I need to see him because he's got the same tasting cards as me. Well, I went to him. He pulled out, honestly, it was a it was a stack of cards like this. And it was valued, I think it was £431. He brought it at 80%. So I think it went down to, what's the math on that? 337 He said, call it 350 Um, And... It was honestly, he was like, mate, you've got all the stuff I like. I was like, yeah, you've got all the stuff I like. And we just like traded stuff. Um, there's a couple of purchases in there that the prices are strong. Like, I will say the price I paid. I don't like to barter people down. Like, I could have said, oh, this card here, there's one on eBay, same condition. It's 50, I end up paying 80. But you've got to think, my binder is full of stuff that I don't really want anymore. So if I'm like, Oh, he's taking 80 quid's worth of stuff, he's going to pay me 60 for it. This card is only worth 50. Well, I'd rather just overpay to get the card I want. But I said, we'll keep in touch. He's He had he had a massive rent. He must have had two or three tables to himself, but piled up with sealed behind it, piled up with the slabs either side, massive tubs of slabs. He was so busy. He's like, mate, if I had more time, if I had someone with me, I'd, I'd probably take even more, but... I've just got to make sure no one's like thieving from me. And I was like, oh, I completely understand it. I was like, but he's like, keep in touch and we'll definitely do more deals kind of thing. But I got, again, Gengar, the EX, with the, they are jelly babies, jelly beans, I swear to God. Spot the obvious, I've got the Espeon, and now I've got the Umbreon. There is a line in the texture. Again, if you, if you were buying to grade, that's going to do badly. I'm not grading anymore. I'm getting a top load of binder. I'm going to have the binder. It looks absolutely fucking madness. And in a binder, that is perfect. I don't care. 
one day could I buy a PSA 8 crack it for 70 quid yes sell that on for the 40 I paid it's a 30 pound upgrade when I'm working it's just a lovely card always wanted it I saw someone completely random I saw someone edit this card probably a year ago on thing and they put the most realistic looking pink spot there for an asshole and I was like what kind of person is on the internet putting an arsehole on a Pokemon card I don't know, it just stuck with me. It's the weirdest thing. So yeah, this is the card. Again, it's not pristine. A couple of little bits of like... I don't know what it is. I think it's just marks and texture. But look again, this era of cards. You cannot beat that. Look at the spirals down here. I think I paid strong, but... As you can see, it's hard to tell. There is a bit of whitening. Probably page too strong, but this will go in my binder. And listen, if someone comes along and says, hey, mate, what's the price on that? If they want to give me 50, 60 and I can upgrade another card or I want the Mew and the Gengar. If someone's like, oh, mate, I've got the Gengar. You swap for the Ente. Yeah, man, I will. But if not, this will stay in my binder. I'm not going to grade it. I don't care. Super happy to have that. Absolutely love that. This is a card I've been wanting for ages. Obviously, you've got the Vaporeon Blue, Jolteon Yellow, Flareon Red. It's just a Black Star promo. But this was minty. Um, the hollow is actually really clean on it. Um, just a great card. I think the Eevee actually looks like a Flareon, don't you? Just looks like a Flareon to me. But it's super cool. This is... Obviously, I said he's got all the weird sticker type cards that I've got and not alike. Well, the Eevee into the three evolutions. Obviously, these cards have great backs. Oh, big reveal there. Did you see that, people? What a card. This was the biggie. Again, I know I paid strong on this. There's one on eBay. <laughs> I'll be honest, £40 less than I paid. And it looks the same condition. Can you justify it by saying there is a swirl? I'm not going to sell it. I'm not the kind of person who goes out and spends £100, £150 on an Expedition Hollow. It's not in my budget. If I'm going to do that, I'm spending a, buying a PSA 10 slab that is definitely going to go up. As opposed to a raw card that, oh, there's a couple of scratches. Oh, there's a bit of whitening in there. Oh, I don't know. As I'm now collecting Gengars, and obviously I really bloody want the Gengar all art now. This is one of those Gengars that you've always looked at and always thought, that's a card I'll never own. Well, guess what? Now I bloody do, and I'm so happy with it. He went, oh, I should be sad to see that go. Obviously, his name is like Gengar in the name. I think he is a Gengar collector, or it's his favourite. And as a seller, nothing should be not for sale. As I've found out this past year, I've sold so much stuff that I always thought it wasn't for sale. But he's like, oh man, I'm going to be sad to see that one go. But super happy with that. This bundle of cards is just phenomenal, isn't it? One of the most sinister looking Gengars. Look at that. What is that logo? Look at Asteroid down there. Just cool. I think this comes in hollow, does it? It's a rare. So it might come in hollow as well. If it does, I need to get the hollow version out. Bloody love that. I got another one of me fish, the Relicamp. I was pretty sure I needed this, but it was like £3. If I don't, I don't. But I'm pretty sure I did need it. And then to finish, I just got a few cheapy EVs. Uh, this one being an Arita artwork. It looks similar style to the Vendon series one. Quite like that. But that bundle there, as I say, that's an impressive looking bundle in it, to be fair. I'm quite happy with that. But as you'll see... Christ, shall we just do this quick? Uh, da, da. Yeah. Uh, uh. Bear with me, people. This is the end of the video. Anyway, you can turn off now if you like.
So my day pretty much consisted of, I didn't even collect Gengars a week ago. And I got those Gengar cards, some pretty cool ones. The Eevee collection, I think I got rid of five or six Evolution slabs. Got one slab back. And the Eevee top loader binder is going to be, honestly, it's going to be nuts when I get it. I swear to God. Oh, what's the... Hmm, I'm having a brain fart, people. Oh, there it is in the Espeon as well. And then the other part of the collection mainly was the best era of cards. The XY, black and white. Obviously, the Umbreon Espeon are in there as well. Absolutely love it. So that's everything. I took £40 spending money with me. I did two little deals, ended up with 180 Bearing in mind out of that 180, I brought drinks, I brought Starbucks drink on the way home. I managed to do £5 for my luggage case. I got all of that for 180 cash and trades out of my junk binder and probably 10 slabs, four of which went for £12 and three of them went for £20. So... I think you can agree that's a pretty good deal. And obviously there was the cash on top extra from the big deal. Which I won't divulge because it's all going to pay off bills that I owe. Thank you very much for watching. London Card Show never fails to impress. Hope to be back in November. But at the moment, I wasn't meant to go to this show. But I arranged the big deal with Lonic. Unless something like that happens again. But I think I've got four slabs left to sell. And my binders have been raided. So it's very unlikely. If my brother says to me, what do you want for Christmas? If he takes me there, he wants to go in November. If he buys me a ticket for my Christmas present, bang. I'll see you all there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.